Welcome back, everyone. I'll go ahead and explain, I guess, you know, the top things that can go wrong with your Nintendo Switch, as well as exactly how to fix them. Now, I've done this with apps like Snapchat, TikTok. This is the first time I'm doing it with a hardware device like your Nintendo Switch. But let's go ahead and get started. One of the most common things that I've seen people kind of mess up with on their Nintendo Switch is actually, you know, not powering it on or not turning it on correctly, aka the Nintendo Switch not powering on or turning on at all. Now this can happen for a couple of reasons like all the other things I'm going to mention, but the one thing that I've seen time and time again for people actually successfully being able to boot up their Nintendo Switch is actually either holding down the power button for 15 seconds or more than 15 seconds or removing the Joy-Cons and then trying to power on their console. So just to be safe, what I'm going to tell you is go ahead, if you're in this case, take out your specific Joy-Cons, okay? Just go ahead and click that button in the back and totally take these Joy-Cons out. So when these Joy-Cons are out, obviously your Nintendo Switch is going to be turned off like this. You want to find the power button of your Nintendo Switch and you want to hold this power button down for over 15 seconds. Some people say 15 seconds, I'm gonna say over 15 seconds until your Nintendo screen turns on. So right now my Nintendo Switch is going to turn on perfectly fine, but in this case, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, hold down the power button on your Nintendo Switch for more than 15 seconds and see if your Nintendo Switch is able to boot up then. If your Nintendo Switch is not able to boot up even at this point, I would recommend you getting a charging port, so find your charger for your Switch and plugging it into your specific console. And just let it sit there for just many hours or until it turns on, and then at some point it should be able to boot up. Typically this is like 99% of the way to fix it. As long as you don't have a faulty, you know, Nintendo Switch at all, let's say it's not broken or anything, then you should be good to go. Hopefully that fixes that specific portion. That's typically what helps it for me, and hopefully it helps you out too. Now this next thing is basically your Nintendo Switch not being able to actually connect to the internet. Now I've made separate videos talking about this too and it's a really easy thing to fix for the most part, but it does require you to kind of do a little bit of setup. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and boot up your Nintendo Switch and you want to go locate your specific settings. So you want to go into your system settings which for me are right here. Once you're in the settings you want to go into your network connection. And when you're in your internet connection settings, you want to make sure you're able to be connected to a solid network. You want to verify all this information here. You want to make sure nothing's mistyped. And as long as you're connected to a network connection, you should be able to go through the rest of this video. So you can go ahead and test this connection settings, but as long as you click save, you should be good to go. Now at this point, what you want to do is find the specific app, software, whatever that's not allowing you to go on the internet. So let's say you go to the Nintendo eShop and for some reason this isn't working. It's not letting you go into the internet or whatever. Well, you want to make sure that your specific Nintendo Switch doesn't have a problem with that specific app. So what you want to do is tap out of here. You want to go into any other app that you know of or any other game that requires online connection. So let's say whatever the other thing is, let's say you play Smash Online or whatever, well you want to try playing Smash Online. If you're able to go and connect to the servers and everything, then you're probably good. You know, it's probably just a temporary issue that that specific app or the Nintendo eShop is having. However, if you go and play Smash Online and you try to and you can't play online and the Nintendo eShop isn't working, well, most probably there may be an issue with the internet connection that you have or Nintendo servers being down. So you can tell if Nintendo servers are being down by going onto Twitter and seeing if Nintendo tweeted anything out or for a lot of people are complaining. Or what you'd rather do, in my opinion, is to go onto your phone or any other device and see if you're actually able to get internet on those devices as well. If those devices are not able to get internet, then you found your culprit is probably your network Wi-Fi router. If you're able to get internet there, then I would reconnect, then I would recheck your settings on your Nintendo Switch and either disconnect from the network and reconnect to it or fully connect to a different network and see if that fixes it. So that's typically how I would go ahead and fix the Nintendo Switch's internet not working. Now another thing that I've seen time and time again is basically the microSD card slot not working on your Nintendo Switch. Now for this one we have to make our way to the back of the console. Now a lot of people may not even know this, but your Nintendo Switch, you know, microSD card slot is right underneath here. It took me three years to figure out where it was located. Now within your microSD card slot, I don't really want to take it out. The first way I would recommend fixing it, let's say it was working all along and it randomly just stopped. Well, in that case, I would recommend taking out your specific microSD card slot and just reinserting it and see if that fixes it. Typically, this simply fixes it. You know, I've had cameras that do the same thing. And typically at this point, you should be able to fix it for the most part. Now, let's say that doesn't fix it. Well, what I would recommend doing at that point is taking out the microSD card slot again and literally just blowing on the specific port. 
So just, you know, getting your mouth and just blowing it right here or getting a can of air and spraying it right there, that could fix it as well. And then reinsert the micro SD card slot and see if that fixes it. Again, it has a high probability that it will. If that still doesn't fix it, I would recommend taking out this micro SD card slot and putting it into a different device. So something like a Samsung Galaxy phone that supports it, maybe into your computer, some type of device like that to see if it's functional. If your computers are able to pick it up, but your Nintendo Switch is not able to see it and it was working before, then you may have you know a faulty Nintendo Switch micro SD card slot. And then you're probably going to have to troubleshoot that in and of itself and that's gonna be a process that's longer than this video. That's pretty much what I would recommend looking at into this specific case. If the micro SD card slot is not being discovered on those other devices, well, that probably means the micro SD card slot has gone bad and you probably need to get a new one or fix that SD card in order to actually get it working. So that's pretty much how I would go ahead and fix my micro SD card slot not working on the Nintendo Switch. Now, another thing that I've seen time and time again is basically the Nintendo Switch, the battery not charging. So let's say your Nintendo Switch is fully dead, which has happened to me a ton of times. Typically, it hasn't happened to me on my Switch Lite. Anytime I charge it up, within an hour, it's, you know, fully good to go. Let's say you have your Nintendo Switch or Switch Lite, and it's just, you know, been on the charger for 10-15 minutes, and it's still stuck on that little icon on the top left or top right. Well, you're just going to have to give it some time. Typically, it can take quite a bit of time, so just let it sit, you know, a couple hours. Maybe let it sit overnight and see if that actually fixes it. Typically, at that point, over a little bit of time, it should be able to fix itself and just boot up. But let's say it's still not working and it's been hours or days and it's still not charging. Well, in this case, what I would recommend doing is actually going ahead and if you have a regular switch on the switch light, it's not compatible. But if you have your standard switch like this, I would recommend removing the joysticks or the joy cons from your Nintendo Switch. So go ahead and remove your joy cons just like so by clicking the button on the back, by clicking on the button on the back left and pulling it up. And you'll straight up get into your switch like this and you just want to plug it into the charging port at the bottom. I will be honest, this three, four, five times has helped me out so much. This is the number one thing that I've helped. This is the number one thing that's helped me so much in order to actually fix the console not charging. And it's as simple as that. As Believe it or not, it's as simple as that. And that pretty much fixes it. Now let's say that still doesn't fix it. Well, I'd recommend looking at the bottom of your charging port on your Switch Lite or Switch or whatever and seeing if there's a bunch of dust, debris, stuff stuck in this charging port over time with any device, iPhones, Androids, MacBooks, laptops, whatever. You want to go ahead and clean out this specific port and that should end up fixing the problem overall. Again, it's not perfect, but by you just cleaning out this port, it may actually end up fixing it. And that's another humongous thing I would recommend you guys to do is just taking out this port, cleaning it out, and that should end up fixing it overall. So that's how it pretty much fix, you know, the switch battery not working in general if it's not charging. Now, finally, the last little thing I'll go ahead and show you is how to fix the Joy-Cons not working. So let's say you have your Joy-Cons or you just bought brand new Joy-Cons or something and they're just not working on your Nintendo Switch. Well, typically there's a couple ways to fix this, but the number one thing that I've seen time and time again is either a faulty connection on your Joy-Cons or the battery just isn't charged on the Joy-Cons themselves. So what you want to do is locate on the side of your Nintendo Switch and you can pretty much see a bunch of, you know, screws and stuff right here. But what you want to do is make sure nothing is in the way of you actually sliding in these Joy-Cons straight into your Switch. You want to look at the bottom right here too. And if there's any, you know, dust or debris or anything like that, you want to get a cotton swab, a napkin, anything like that, and pretty much clean out this little, like, you know, track that's right here. If you have a bunch of stuff or you see a bunch of things that's messed up here, well, your Joy-Cons are not going to charge because it needs a proper connection. So you want to go ahead and make sure that your Joy-Con is able to go ahead and slide in here properly and clean out not only this side, but also clean out the other side of your specific Nintendo Switch as well. Clean out the track right here, make sure all this gunk and stuff is out of here. And when you do that, you also want to go onto your Joy-Cons themselves and you want to make sure the same thing happens on this Joy-Con itself too. So as you can see, there's may there may be a bunch of gunk and stuff built in on the sides here. I think the charging port is like somewhere here or something, I'm not too sure. But all you want to do is make sure that this is clean out and the Joy-Con sides are clean out right here and right here. And you should be good to go. You want to make sure you do it on both sides. So you just want to take your Joy-Con like this and slide it in proper, just like so. So take it like this, slide in like this, click it into place. As long as you hear that click, you're good. You obviously want to do the exact same thing on the other side as well. Go ahead and slide it in. And at this point, try going ahead and holding down or clicking some buttons and see if your Joy-Con is able to boot up your Nintendo Switch. If it is able to boot up, then you're set. 
If it's not able to boot up, then what I would recommend doing is taking out a specific Joy-Con just like this and seeing if you're able to connect to it outside of the switch port. So go ahead and hold down the buttons, hold down the connect sync button right here and see if it's able to connect to the switch. Typically, I will be honest, you should be able to do it. If not, then I would recommend checking your Nintendo Switch in and of itself and seeing if it's faulty in any way in terms of a signal or connection. If it's able to connect to one switch, it should the if it's able to connect to one Joy-Con, then it should theoretically be able to connect to multiple Joy-Cons in any way possible. So that's pretty much it. Those are pretty much the main ways that I would go ahead and recommend fixing my Nintendo Switch. Again, I've covered like five or six different things in this video. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. Let me know if you've experienced any issues on your Switch. I'll be happy to make another video, you know, kind of explaining all the ways to fix it. If you guys have any other questions as well, let me know in the comment sections below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.